Hello, this is Jennifer from sbgcuttablefiles.com and I'm going to show you how to use my patterns in Cricut Design Space. So we're going to put a pattern on this Christmas tree I brought in. I want to put a buffalo plaid pattern over it. So I'm going to bring that in. I'm going to upload it. I have this buffalo plaid pattern in my shop. I'll put the link below. I'm going to insert that image. Okay, so here it is. And first thing I want to do is duplicate my Christmas tree. So you can do it two ways. You can right click and then click on duplicate, and drag it over out of the way. Or you can also let's see come up here in this left panel and click on duplicate. Let's see, click on duplicate there. You got another one. Okay. Now you're going to drag the pattern on top of your object that you want the pattern to be on. And then you want to size it. Let's see. I want it to be about that. You don't want it to be too too big or too small. Okay. And then we're going to select both items. And come down here and click on slice. And then we're going to drag away this. And it's cut out. We don't need that. Get rid of it. And we want to take the piece that's the same color as our pattern, the black, and then you can lay it right over your tree. Kind of line it up as good as you can. And and then these pieces, I don't really think they look so good, so I'm going to delete those. Don't need them. So here we have our tree with the pattern over the top. It's a two-color design. Now I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's say we want to take this word cheer and we want to put chevron pattern all over it. Let's bring in our chevron pattern. I also have chevron patterns in my shop. I can link that below. I have polka dots. Um, I'm trying to think of all the patterns I have right now. I'm going to be adding more. So this came in a little bit big so I'm just going to come up here to the size and click okay. 8. Eight inches, make it a little smaller. Okay, drag it out to be a little bit bigger. The bolder the font, the better the patterns will show up on. So think about that when you're doing this. Okay, so we're going to select. Oh, first, I want to take that the word cheer. Let me come over here and click on it and duplicate it. But I have two of those, don't forget to do that. And then we're going to select the cheer and the chevron. Come down here and click slice. Remove our chevron. We've got a bunch of pieces here. Okay, the, we're going to take the gray piece that was the same color as our pattern. That's how you know that's the piece you're looking for. And then you can place it over your text. And delete these two. Select and delete. And there you go. It's pretty simple. Alright, thank you for watching.